you can use the automatic virtual topology tool to detect stair-like features in a model and merge them with the surrounding geometry. Stair features are two, three, or four-sided features connected to the surrounding features by a combination of a sharp convex angle and a sharp concave angle. Here are three simple examples of stair features that you can abstract away using this functionality, followed by two examples that violate the stair-like feature definition. Here is an imported lens component part, which I will mesh with tetrahedral elements. There are several geometric details included in the geometry which can be ignored for the simulation, including this groove, some lettering, these narrow faces surrounding a large rectangular depression, and some thin faces surrounding the oval depression. Since these all qualify as stair-like features, I will use the automatic virtual topology tool to identify them and abstract them away. When I click the Stair Feature Highlight button, I find that none of the features I wish to ignore are found with the default Stair Feature Thinness value. I will apply the Measure Stair Height tool to one of the faces bounding the rectangular depression since that is the deepest stair feature I wish to ignore. The measured thinness is just below 22, so I will increase the stair feature thinness value to 22 and highlight the stair features again. This time, all the features I wish to ignore are highlighted. As a final check, I will preview all the entities that will be ignored with these automatic virtual topology settings. Since this looks good, I will apply the virtual topology and mesh the part. As you can see, the lettering and the groove were completely ignored during the meshing operation. When I rotate the part, you can see that the rectangular depression still exists. Only the step transition has been smoothed over by the mesh. If I decide that I do need to model a particular step transition, I can use the Restore Entities tool to re-include some of the ignored geometry. When I remesh the part, you can see that the mesh now follows the included stair feature. Note that the virtual topology operations are listed as part features in the model tree. If necessary, they can be suppressed or deleted for future remeshing.